Now that we know how to implement Algolia search on the front end, we're going to create a Firebase cloud function to build our own custom index on the back end. In this example, we will create an index of books from the Google Books API. Anytime this book data changes on the database, it will automatically invoke the function, telling Algolia to update the index. The first step is to create a new index on the Algolia dashboard. In this case, we'll just call it books. Currently, the index is empty, but when we add new data to the Firebase database, we want to see the index updated with that new data. So if we add a new book to Firebase, then go back to Algolia, we should see that book in the index. Now let's see how we make this possible with Firebase Cloud Functions. First initialize functions in your project, then cd into the functions directory. Then install Algolia by running npm install Algolia search. Then set your Algolia API keys in the functions environment. You want to make sure to use the admin API key. In the index.js file, we start by importing the Firebase admin and then initialize Algolia search with the API keys that we just set. The name of the function will be update index and it will run anytime data is written to this node in the database, which is books slash book ID. We reference the index by calling init index, then pass it the name we defined in the Algolia dashboard. Then we set a variable for the data in the Firebase database. Then we set the Algolia object ID to whatever the book ID happens to be. Every record in your Algolia index is required to have a unique object ID. In most cases, you'd want to use the Firebase push key. You can add new data to the index by calling index.saveObject and then pass it that data object. Then you have a callback from which you can catch the error, or in this case, we just console log the success of the update. So far, the function will only work when data is created or updated. So we check to see if the data variable is empty, and if so, we call the delete object method instead. After you deploy the function, you should see the cloud function logs being updated each time a new book is added or removed to the database. Back in the Angular front end, the only thing we need to change is the index name, pointing it to the books index. Going into the app, we can test it out and make sure that it filters the books in our index. That's it for full text search with Algolia. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe. And if you want to support the channel, consider becoming a pro member at angularfirebase.com. You'll receive free one-on-one -on -one project consulting, as well as a copy of the Angular Firebase Survival Guide. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.